plays for us. Did you saw the movie? And Jet, you know what I mean? Oh, shit, that's crazy. I don't even talk about uh, Dirk and his performance, but, uh, you know, we, uh, it was good to see our uh, best friend guys go in and win the game for us. A lot of guys were also talking about your commitment to this team. I know you, you had a, a family member pass recently, and, and you decided to stay with the team. How difficult, personally, was that decision for you? Well, uh, it's not a hard at all, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, just think about what my grandma would tell me. She'd tell me, don't cry, you know. Give me my roses while I'm alive, you know what I mean? You know, uh, she's in a better place, it's a place we all trying to get to. So, uh, you know, she had, you know, she'd be disappointed if I was a woman right here, pouting to her face, poked out. So, I know she'd tell me to get my butt back on the basketball court, so uh, it was an easy decision. Even further? Well, uh, you know, I don't try to uh, take motivation or things to get me revved up. I'm already messed up enough. You know? But uh, right now, this uh, this is my time of year. You know, playoffs, uh, each game counts. This one, I'm in my best, and uh, that's what drives me. You guys, I appreciate it, man. Thank you, buddy. Yeah. You guys were down eight there late in the third quarter. What did you do in the fourth quarter in order to come back and win the game? Well, uh, you know, Jason Kidd, you know, he uh, came in late in the third, and um, he just got the ball to the right guys at the right time. Uh, he hit big shot after big shot all game. And, um, you know, uh, and that's what it's about. We're going to our scores and uh, Vince and Dirk and Jet. You know, they, um, you know, they put this team on their back and took brought it on. Vince Carter looked like he stepped back in time with the 23 points, 10, going 10 in a row there in the second quarter. He got, he's the most deceiving player I've ever been around. You know what I mean? Some days, uh, you know, he'd come out and uh, you think he's, uh, you know, uh, he'd come out and shoot around and he's, you know, kind of jogging through and then he jump up and put his head above the rim, you know, a second later. So, um, you know, he's just one of those talented players, man. And you can never count him out, you know. Uh, you know. Talk about the resiliency of this team after the back-to-back -back overtime losses and then being down in this game and what it says about this team to come back. Well, it says a lot about this team. Um, you know, uh, our leaders, uh, J.K. and Dirk and Jet. So they, uh, they put this team on his back, you know. Uh, and they took us on in for about that. Three minutes in on the third quarter, you know, I don't think uh, Coach even had to call a play. You know, he just uh, put the ball in Jason's hands and he made all the right plays. It was a must-win situation for you guys. Talk about pulling it out against uh, against Houston, the team you needed to be. Well, yeah, yeah. It's, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. And, uh, you know, uh, Dirk was a prime example of that today, and um, you know, I, I'd like to, I'd like to be hated going into these playoffs. You know?